I was also thrilled to announce earlier today that I am nominating, as Matt said, William Barr to take the helm as our new Attorney General. He's an outstanding man. Bill previously led the Justice Department with distinction as Attorney General under George H.W. Bush, following his unanimous confirmation by the United States Senate. During his tenure, he demonstrated an unwavering adherence to the rule of law, which the people in this room like to hear. There's no one more capable or more qualified for this role. He deserves overwhelming bipartisan support. I suspect he'll probably get it. We're here today to restore one of the most effective crime prevention strategies in America, Project Safe Neighborhoods. This initiative brings law enforcement community groups and local leaders together to get the most violent criminals in the most dangerous areas off the streets and behind bars. After many years of neglect, we are bringing back this life-saving program stronger than ever before. Today is the first nationwide meeting of Project Safe Neighborhoods in eight years. So I've been here so much lately. Josh Hawley. You know, I keep uh, listening to the fake news that they won the House, 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 House. Nobody ever talks about the Senate. We won the Senate easily. In fact, we picked up two. And uh, that hasn't been done in a long time. For a uh, person as president, you just, for whatever reason, that doesn't happen very often. And we have the Senate now 53 to 47. And we're very proud of that. But you never hear that. You only hear the House, House, House. And the nice part about having the Senate is when you have the Senate, your judges, you know, we've appointed many, many judges. Uh, we're just about at a record clip ever. And by the time I finish, we should have the all-time record, except, of course, on a percentage basis. You know who the best of all was, right? George Washington. 100%. <laughs> He picked 100% of the judges. That's the only one that I won't be beating. Easily. In fact, we picked up two. And uh, that hasn't been done in a long time. Everyone here today is committed to the same vital goal, liberating our communities from crime and securing the right of all citizens to live in safety and to live in peace. In the two years before I took office, the violent crime rate increased by 7% and murders were up by over 20 percent. But we're turning it around very quickly, much quicker than anyone thought possible. At the core of our strategy is restoring respect for law enforcement. And there's nobody that deserves respect more than you people, that I can tell you. For too long, many politicians and radical activists have been smearing and slandering our police making life easier for criminals and harder for law-abiding Americans. We will not tolerate attacks on the heroes who protect our streets and defend our communities. We will not allow it to happen. And we will believe the right punishment, and we all do, for cop killers is called the death penalty.